Ephesians chapter 3 For this cause I, Paul, am the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you word, that is, that God by revelation hath showed this mystery unto me, as I wrote above in few words, whereby when ye read ye may know mine understanding in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not opened unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles should be inheritors also, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I am made a minister by the gift of the grace of God, given unto me through the effectual working of his power. Even unto me the least of all saints is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make clear unto all men what the fellowship of the mystery is, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who hath created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he wrought in Christ Jesus our Lord by whom we have boldness and entrance with confidence by faith in him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for your sakes, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom is named the whole family in heaven and in earth, that he might grant you according to the riches of his glory, that ye may be strengthened by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye may be filled with all fullness of God. Unto him, therefore, that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, be praise in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever. Amen.